One of the connections that becomes really uh, alive between yoga and permaculture is really this experience of the inner and the outer and the outer and the inner. Uh, and so a lot of people come to yoga because they're looking for healing in their life or maybe they've heard that it's really good to enhance their productivity at work. Um, and they quickly realized that through connecting to the body that they began to discover, you know, it's alive inside. And so uh, the kind of outer leads to the inner. And then through that exploration, self-knowledge, self-study, uh, we begin to realize that we're not really separate from our external environment. And that the way that we kind of show up on the mat is very uh, symbolic to how we show up in our lives. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, that connection with the elements, with like our effect in the world um, becomes very important when we start realizing the impact that we have um, on the planet. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, from the other side, starting with the outer and then going to the inner uh, permaculture for me started really just to get my garden super efficient. Like, oh, I really want to like grow more food with less work. Um, but then you start to touch on these philosophical questions of, you know, can you really leave no trace? Can you, can you really exist and not have a footprint or to really minimize your footprint? And what I've kind of come to believe is, is no matter what, you always are having an impact on what's around you. And you realize that if you if you don't do some like inner work as well, your impact is a lot a lot of times unexpected. So I think if if you're coming from the yoga, you generally will often arrive at this desire to know your impact more deeper and maybe connect with permaculture. But similarly, if you're on the permaculture side, you realize that like, hey, just focusing on the outer stuff is is okay, but there's a lot of unseen things that are going on that really maybe call you to look look inward as well. I think also in my experience, um, at one point I was living on a permaculture farm and uh, I was there as a yoga teacher and um, and I really got to experience, you know, the depth of what permaculture has to offer. And one of the things that I noticed is through really connecting with the land, there is um, there's something internal that starts shifting. And so people start realizing uh, the nature of uh, their connection to the land and so maybe initially they came to permaculture to learn how to grow food or um, because of frustrations that they've had in their everyday life um, maybe they want to live in a different way and through the connection of the hands and the soil or the connection of understanding you know um, our inter you know connectedness with our community um, the inner starts shifting as well and the yoga provides tools uh, as well as the meditation in how we can you know, be more and more in alignment with ourselves and find more fulfillment and purpose in our life. Yeah. Absolutely. Plus when you're like bending over and harvesting vegetables, <laughs> you can do like warrior <laughs> like pose or something like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, you know, yeah, I think there's a lot to explore with this topic and I think it really is super exciting. And honestly, I'm, I'm constantly, I'm pretty embedded in the permaculture world and I don't know of any other program like this anywhere in the world really so um, I, I think it's something that's on the cutting edge really really kind of pushing people to their edge um, and and I'm proud to be working with Awakened Spirit and together with Atitlan Organics so if any of what we're talking about is, is is resonating with you you know get in touch with us get connected you know sign up for the newsletter or just shoot us an email or, or check out the web page and uh, let's talk because I really think this is an amazing experience Yes. That's hard to find elsewhere.